Hey guys, how's it going? I'm uh, chilling on my couch in my living room. A little change of scenery for you today. And the reason I'm shooting this video is because I've been talking about how I'm going to be sharing a couple powerful strategies that I use to help me reach my goals. And, and these are the very same strategies that I've used with many of my clients. And I talk about in various, uh, a couple of my programs to some extent that are very, very important for helping you achieve your goals. Okay? So, I'm sitting on this couch because on this very couch is where I spend about 20 to 25 minutes every single night before I go to bed. And what I do on this couch is I don't watch TV. I mean, I go through, you know, an hour or two of TV and then I turn it off. But I spend about 25 minutes meditating. So I sit on this couch. I follow a guided meditation and sometimes just some nice kind of easy listening visualization music or the music that helps me get into my state. And what I do during this uh, meditation is the following. I essentially disconnect. So I just kind of let my mind go, bring my heart rate back, right down to a nice relaxed level. I get into a state where my body is totally relaxed. And what this does is it kind of disarms my conscious mind. It disarms the conscious mind so that it's not filtering, you know, everything that's coming in. Okay, so it's kind of like taking away the gatekeeper. Now, the reason that we do that, obviously there's a lot of health benefits to meditation, but one of the biggest reasons I meditate is to reprogram my nervous system and my brain literally with better thoughts and better language. So once I have kind of taken down that, that conscious wall by really kind of getting into a nice deep relaxed state, I then start embedding my mind, embedding my subconscious mind with affirmations. Okay. And these are, you know, you can, you can really create any kind of affirmation you want. And it's essentially a statement in which you're describing yourself or some aspect of your life as you want it to be. So you could say something like, um, I am a consistent exerciser. I love working out every single day or I love eating healthy foods that energize me. You know, a simple a one sentence statement that you can, it's very easy to remember that you can embed into your subconscious mind. Now, this takes time, and the key with this is repetition. It doesn't, doesn't really produce any miracles overnight. So the key with this kind of stuff, like with anything, is repetition and consistency, because the only way we learn anything, whether it's how to walk, how to ride a bike, how to write, how to do math, is through repetition and being consistent with it. So with this meditation that I do every single night, I've specifically set aside a time, usually around 10 p.m., every single night, no matter what, unless I'm out with friends and then I'll do it later on, but I'm very rarely out with friends because, you know, we have a kid. So um, I'm at home, I sit on the couch, I get my noise-canceling headphones on, I get into my zone, I get into my state, relax my body deeply, then I start embedding these affirmations into my subconscious, into my nervous system, and at the same time, I also focus on visualization okay so i go through my you know in, in combination with these affirmations you can at the same time visualize what you want to create in your life right whatever it is what things you want to have things you want to experience the type of person you see yourself as being and it's very important that you're in a good state when you do this okay you want to believe that whatever you're visualizing you can achieve okay that's the first thing is if you don't believe it it's it's you know i mean you're, you're not going to fool anyone okay so you need to believe this deep down inside of you in order for it to really integrate into your nervous system. This stuff is so powerful. I mean, it seems obviously a little ethereal and wishy-washy, um, but I can tell you I've been using this probably not as consistently as I should have been, um, but I definitely, when I was playing in my soccer days, I would visualize every single night before I went to bed, I would visualize myself going through an entire 90-minute game, what I would be doing in every single possible scenario. And on the field, it made the execution that much more natural, that much more effortless. And the same thing happens in business or in your personal life or with your health and exercise, the exact same thing happens. Imagine this, okay, you're, you're dealing with some issues, uh, cravings, or you can't eat well, you, you can't get into a groove, right? You've lost your motivation, you, you, you find it's hopeless, you're just kind of in a rut, okay? So, this is where this kind of stuff really can make a difference because now you can start to recreate your future, okay? Simply by starting up here in your inner game, in your mind. You create what happens tomorrow. 
So imagine this, you, you take 20 to 25 minutes, you get into a nice deep relaxed state, you have some affirmations that you remember and you're repeating them to yourself during this after you've kind of taken down your conscious barrier. And at the same time, you're visualizing yourself, you know, maybe five years down the road, a year down the road. But imagine this, you have, just imagine visualizing yourself tomorrow. Visualize what time you're going to wake up and with absolute certainty. So you know, I mean, without a shadow of a doubt, you see yourself waking up early, jumping out of bed. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go for a quick workout. I'm actually giving you my own personal scenario here. So you visualize yourself getting up early, getting your workout in first thing in the morning. So your day is off to a great start. You've revved up your metabolism. You know that if you get your workout in first thing in the morning, your day can only get better. Okay. Now again, you're seeing this happen. You're playing this movie in your head. And what that does, again, it just it creates a cascade of, uh, of events and expectancy, and you're essentially telling your brain what to do. Your brain doesn't know the difference between something it actually experiences and something it vividly imagines. That's the real cool thing about this is that what you experience up here or out there, there's no difference other than what you believe. Okay, If you believe this to be true up here, then it will be true in your real life as well. So visualize yourself getting up in the morning, going for that run, getting in that workout, your breakfast, instead of you know falling into the rut of cereal, bagels, whatever it is, see yourself preparing and enjoying preparing a green smoothie, something really healthful. See yourself enjoying that process, getting dressed, getting ready for the day, you're smiling, you're happy, you're energetic, you're energized because you know today is gonna be the best day ever. Play your day out in your mind ahead of time. And it also helps if you have one of these. A little journal okay this is my moleskin journal I have pro I don't even know how many of these I have I go through them like like a kid goes through candy right so what I do here is if you can see this I have Wednesday's goals where are we Thursday goals and a lot of these are obviously business related stuff that I want to achieve every single day I only write down about five to six of the most important things that I will accomplish tomorrow because I'm not gonna write down 30 things and then look back over my list and feel defeated for not accomplishing them but I write down the five to six most important things I need to accomplish tomorrow. And what that does, when you write things down, you get them out of your head and you get them down on paper. So therefore, you can, you can go to bed at night. You don't have to worry about what you're going to do tomorrow. It's already down on paper. Okay. So I do this, again, every single night before I go to bed, before I do my meditation, I should write down the most important things I need to accomplish tomorrow, whether it be workout-wise. I, I usually, I'm not as, actually, I'm not as good as this as I should be with my workouts. Um, ideally, you should be writing down the workout. If you don't follow one of my workouts or you don't have the workout trackers, if you're doing your own stuff, you need to write down your workout and write down exactly what you're going to do. What exercise, how many sets, how many reps, and it's all planned out for you. So you don't have to go to the gym and waste your time thinking about it. It's all done. So having a little journal like this or whichever way you're going to do it is amazingly powerful because you're, pre you're creating your future. You are becoming the cause of your life. You are taking full responsibility for what happens every single day as opposed to being the effect and blaming external circumstances. When you realize that you are responsible for where you are right now, it's really cool because you can say, well, okay, well, if I'm here where I am right now, you know, the health I have, the financial situation I'm in, uh, anything else, it's all because of what you've done in the past, the, the emotions you've felt, the thoughts you've had in your head, and the actions you've taken. If you want to change things tomorrow and in the future, it starts today by changing your thoughts, using better language, changing what you're focusing on, and starting to take action towards that better future. So hopefully that's helped you. I don't know this is there's been a, we've covered a lot in this video, but this is one of the most important daily habits you can start to ingrain. Um, again, it's 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 as important as brushing your teeth. It's as it's probably it's way more important than brushing your teeth actually. I think this is probably the most important thing you can do on a, on a daily basis for yourself. You need to take time for yourself. You are the most important person. Like on an airplane, they tell you to put your gas mask on first in case you know stuff goes wrong. You need to do the same thing in your life. If you do not take care of yourself first, it doesn't matter who's, who else is around you. If you have family, kids, you need to take care of number one so you can take care of yourself and them accordingly. Okay, So take this time for yourself every single day. I guarantee within about a month, again, this is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time. But within a month, you're going to start to notice feeling better. Things are just more productive. You're more focused. And your life will start to change uh, pretty dramatically. Okay? 
So um, there we go. Leave me a comment below if you've enjoyed this, if this is something you do on a daily basis, or if you have any other strategies, uh, please feel free to share. Talk to you soon.